Let's take a look at the Procore integration. First, we need to go to System Settings and then the Company Setup. We'll click on Integrations and we'll go and turn on Procore. This will prompt you to enter in your username and password. Once filled in, we'll click on Login and we'll get a message that's really connected to Procore. Next, we'll go into the Setup and we'll associate the company project template and standard cost codes. Down below we can say to include any documents that we have in ProS or in the estimate to go across and we'll map out our different cost types using the Procore abbreviations. We can also create sub jobs using either a sort type or a division. And if we like to send over commitments, we can create a purchase order based off of another sort type and selecting what cost types we want to use to create that purchase order. We can do the same thing to create a subcontractor order as well. Last, we'll click on Synchronize Now, which will bring over all the Procore cost codes into the ProS accounting codes. To create the budget in Procore, we need to make sure that all line items in the estimate have associated cost code related to the cost type being used for that line item. To create a sub job, we want to use our sort types. Here, you can see I have phase one, two, three, five, and four all being used. Here, we can also associate the different sort types, vendor and sub, to create my commitments. Any line item that has a vendor associated with it and a material cost will be going over as a purchase order. Any sort types that are assigned to an item under subcontractor with a subcontractor cost will then create a commitment. Once all the information is set up in the estimate, we can go back into the estimate center, we then click on the edit pen, and we can change the status to award it. We can also send an estimate over into an existing project if we wish, or leave it at none to create a new project. We'll click on save, and at this point, the job should be going over to Procore. Once the estimate has been sent over complete, we can go in and we can see what came across. To start, if we go up to home and go to budget, we'll see a breakdown, buys our sub job, with the budget, including all the labor and material cost. We can then go to commitments and see the different commitments will create it. When we look at the information inside, we'll notice under the schedule of values, we show the individual line items with their quantity, unit and measure, unit cost, and total amount. We can then go to drawings and we'll see Procore has accepted the drawing and still processing the information and we can go over to documents for any non takeoff related documents that were loaded in the ProS and find them there. Last, we can also send over a change event. Again, doing the same steps, we go to the estimate details, we change the job awarded this time we select the estimate we want to send the change event to and tell it to create the change event instead of a budget. When we hit save, it will then start creating the change event. In change event, we'll see the different line items that were included in that estimate with their unit and measure, unit cost, and totals. We have now successfully sent over two types of estimates. One, to create a new estimate and update the budget with commitments, and two, to make a change event. This concludes the integration to Procore.